Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So today's video, we will be doing another PvP build guide. This time it's going to be for the Arterialist, aka the Blaster. Now it's probably one of the most low-key slept on classes in all of Lost Ark. You don't really run into a lot in 3v3s, but this class is very, very devastating if you know how to play it. You're very annoying to deal with. You do incredible amount of CCs, knockups, AoE damage, and you have access to five super armors. We're currently running on this build, so you're really annoying. Without further ado, guys, let's hop into the video. Okay, so let's get into the Arterialist class, aka the Blaster, and kind of explain why it's not really a part of the meta. Well, it's lack of mobility. You're pretty much a potato when you're in the arenas, I'm not gonna lie to you, but you do have access to five different super armors on the build. You pretty much just do a lot of poke damage, and then when you see someone is up in the air, they're getting juggled, they've used their dodge roll, that's when you need to go in and land your combos. You can do up to around 60k worth of damage during your combos, like, and that's even without a crit. And just a few things to note about how the class, if you are kind of new to what this class has to offer, your Z actually turns you into a turret, you have access to four new abilities, you, you have a shield, you have a shotgun blast that just kind of goes around you, you have a napalm blast and knocks people up, and then you have a laser. So this is going to be your oh shit button. We'll get we'll cover this later on in the video. I just want to show you guys this now. And let me explain the gauge down here at the bottom. Pretty much every time you deal damage, you will build up this gauge. At tier one you do 10%, tier two you do 20% more damage. At tier three you do 30% more damage. Upon hitting this 30% damage you you have 20 seconds to kind of abuse the buffs that you have. And if you don't, it falls off, then you gotta research your gauge. So with all that being said, let's hop into the stats we need to go over. And then we also need to go into the tripod system. Okay, so when it comes to the stat points, I always max out swiftness, not because of the movement speed, but more or less because of the cooldown reduction. Now I do put the remaining points into domination. Also one value point in crit because you know, crit's a crit. Okay, so if you want the cliff note version of what skills we're running and tripods, I want to have everything up on the screen. Hopefully future Horcrux does a good job on editing this. But if you want to learn a little bit more about the class and some of the combos and rotations, then stick around. Okay, so as I'm explaining these skills, I'm going to refer to the top row as 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the bottom row is QWER. Yes, I'm a degenerate and I actually don't use the default setup. I'm using my Dota 2 setup. If you guys have ever played it, it's a great game. Okay, so going over the first skill, we're going with the Gatlin Gun. This is essentially a perma stun. If you catch one, two, and possibly even three people in a line with this, it's actually pretty crazy. So we're going with the cooldown reduction. We're going with the push immunity because you don't want to get interrupted. And then we're going with the aim shot, which increases the distance and also ignores 60% of the target's physical defense. So let me show you what I mean about the perma stun. It collapses. So when you use it, you can keep people in this animation or a pause animation, some people call it, for a very long time. Okay, hopping into our second ability, it's going to be Swing. You're going to be running Quick Attack on this one. Advancing Hit, this is going to give you a Gap Close ability. And then also, you're going to go with Stunner. Now, this is going to be your main setup for your full combos, which we're going to go over here very, very shortly. Okay, so our third ability is Homing Barrage. This is probably one of the hardest abilities to land. So you put down a Mine, and then Missile goes to where you put the Mine down later. So we're going with Guiding Enhancement to shave off that time. Going with Vital Point Bombardment because the other two uh, just quite frankly suck for PvP. And then the last one is Power Bomb. It does more damage and it creates a contamination pool on the area. It lasts a very, very long time. You can kite in and out of it and you can actually use it to your advantage in a lot, a lot of ways. So the delay is pretty nutty. That's all why you always leave with your stun before you plant this down. Yeah, it takes about three seconds for it to land. So it requires a bit of setup. Okay, so ability number four is Howitzer. Now you're going to be running Swift Fingers on this and Opportunist because the whole point of this ability is to keep people juggled as long as you can. And then Fireworks, which ultimately does more damage to juggled targets. So what you want to do, this is a very basic combo. You want to gap close with your stun, drop your homing missile, and then you want to Howitzer on top of that. And then you can throw whatever spell you want into this combo as well. Okay, so to round off the full combo, we're going to go ahead and go over Air Raid. You want to go with Firing Attack Speed, Quick Fire for this one, Lightning Barrage, and then the big one. So this essentially turns it into a Tactical Nuke. So with your full combo, this does about 69,000 worth of damage, assuming something crits. So you can start off with your Gatling Gun. Uh, that's entirely up to you, not necessary, but your main combo is going to be your gap close into your three, into your four, into your R, and you can queue up E if you really want to, it'd be super flashy. 
but you don't got to. But yeah, that's the full combo. If something crits, whether the homing missile or whatever crits, this will do upwards between 50,000 to around 69,000 worth of damage, assuming everything lands and it should. Okay, so for a Q, we're going with the energy field. You want to run a food release on this one. Energy increase because this essentially doubles the effectiveness of our shields. And then we're running solid shield to give us another super armor, the push immunity. So typically you want to use this before you go in for your burst, just to make sure you're not going to get interrupted. And just a note for you guys, if you pop your Q, it gives you a shield. And then you go into your turret mode and pop a shield here. Yes, these do stack. Okay, so our W is going to be Flamethrower. You want to go with Vital Point Attack for this one for the critical. Then you want to take Range Flame. And then for the last tripod, you want to go Scorching Blaze. This actually does do a lot of damage, but you are locked into a specific direction when you cast it. This is more or less a filler spell when you don't have anything else to cast. And this is just to keep people off of you and your teammates. Okay, last ability we have on our bar is definitely the least is Napalm Shot. So we will have this up to level 4 and we're taking Wide Explosion for this tripod. This is essentially to keep people off of you. It acts as like a pseudo stun for your combo. So that's that's pretty much all it's here for. It's kind of like a filler spell. Okay, so when it comes to your ultimate ability, it really doesn't matter what you run. They both look incredibly cool, but I'm going to offer Missile Barrage on this one. But we do need to talk about your Z, your Z. So when you go into Terraform, we already talked about how your one shield carries over to this one, which equates to about 66% of your entire health as a health bar rise. So the very first thing you want to do, this is your oh shit button. Very rarely will you want to use this offensively. This is more of a defensive spell in case you get caught out of position. So you'll pop your shield immediately. And then the idea is to use your barrage blast is a hold ability by the way just to get people off of you now if you are able to land your one which is a napalm strike you can't go up you can't put it directly on top of yourself right so if you do ever hit someone with this and you get the knock up please immediately cast your laser this does an incredible amount of damage and while you're in this form you just kind of spin around because the enemy is going to be jumping all around you anyway, and this just kind of keeps them hot on their feet, you know? Okay, so when it comes to the full combo, let's see how much damage you can actually do. So let's go ahead and start the test. Start off with the Gatling gun. Go into gap close into your proximity mine, into your missile, into your tactical nuke. Boom, boom, R, and then into your ultimate, your missile barrage. And this does hellacious damage, and then you can finish off with a full flamethrower if you really wanted to. We stopped the DPS test there. And uh, yeah, the damage is 162,000. So you can pretty much one shot someone if you catch them in this. Now you do have to be uh, keep track of your firepower level down here as well. It would be advantageous to have this in level three, but sometimes that's not possible in PVP. So yeah, 162,000 is more than enough to kill pretty much anyone. Um, just granted, there are classes that are tankier than other. Granted, there are classes that. You're not going to be able to get the full combo off, but this is a lot of AoE damage. That was just single target. Imagine knocking up two or three people with this, right? It does get pretty incredible. This is a really fun class. A lot of super armors, a lot of annoyance. You're not really an aggressor. You pretty much just wait for your opponent to step out of position or to kind of counter initiate when your teammates get jumped on. And then you have the best oh shit button into the game. You turn into this big ass tank with a big ass beefy shield. And then you just pepper away on people and then no one's going to want to go on you when you're in the tank form. They're, they're, they're just not. Like what? Okay, like who's going to want to go in on this? Like come on, you pop a shield that's going to give you like half your health, well almost half your health. And then the other ability is going to stack on top of that. <laughs> you're just peppering everyone like this. It's such an annoying class to play against. I really suggest you guys give it a go because it is actually really really fun. It's very viable even though it doesn't have the mobility like a death blade or something of that nature um you don't really need it you kind of make up for that with your sheer power power and just really really super tanky so yeah this has been the build guys um before i head out though if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on how i can improve these build videos going forward please let me know down in the comments and as always a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat i honestly love you guys from the bottom of my heart i could not be doing this without you all 
y'all are curious how to join the description has everything all the details um that would be awesome you get access to emojis and shout outs all my videos of course and discord perks and yada yada so um i'm getting out here guys i'm going to bed good night peace